So we're moving ahead to Chapter 2, Section 9, Operations with Complex Numbers. This is Lesson 4, Video 1 of 3 videos, Complex Numbers Introduction. This video does not have any you tries, it's just informative. So explanation. Complex numbers are defined as i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So this is just pretty much everything that you need to know. i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So, um, the way that you will write a number will be a plus bi, where bi is the complex term. In essence, the square root of negative 9 would be equal to 3i, because you can take the square root of negative 9 and rewrite it as the square root of negative 1 times 9, which can be further broken down to negative 1 times the square root, sorry, the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3, and then the square root of negative 1 is i. The easiest way to remember it is if you see a negative underneath a radical, to remove it and put an i in front of the radical. So if you ended up with something like the square root of negative 10, where 10 can't be simplified because it's 5 times 2, you would rewrite it as i times the square root of 10, and the square root would still be there. Something like the square root of 20, or negative 20, now this can be reduced, because 20 is 4 times 5. So this would bring out a 2, because the square root of 4 is 2, and then the negative, so then you would get 2i square root of 5. So as you can see, no matter what, the negative goes away, and it becomes an i. It's just super important that you understand that that's what it is. Also, you'll need to know that i squared is equal to negative 1. This is going to be used in later videos, as well as later chapters and sections. So please understand that the reason why i squared is equal to negative 1 is because if i is equal to the square root of negative 1, and you proceed to square both sides, the square of a square root takes away both. They're, they are opposite operators opposite operations and therefore cancel each other out and so i squared is equal to negative one i know this is a kind of a really all over the place um, ex explanation but it is just important to understand what i is it's a complex number it's imaginary doesn't truly exist and it's used for situations in which the solutions don't actually to a polynomial don't actually cross the x um, axis so that's the end of this video there are still two more to go